Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we will be studying about causes of energy scarcity. As you all know, there might be many wide range of causes for energy scarcity, out of which we will be studying about a few. Now, if you look at this, the first one we can see is overconsumption. The energy crisis is a result of many different strains on our natural resources. Not just one, there is a strain on fossil fuels such as oil, gas and coal due to overconsumption which then in turn can put a strain on our water and oxygen resources by causing pollution. So basically consuming too many resources is putting a strain on our natural resources and it <clears throat> that in turn is putting a strain on other natural resources by causing pollution and other such stuff. The second cause would be overpopulation. Another cause of the crisis has been a steady increase in world's population and its demand for fuel and products. No matter what type of food or products is used to use from a fair trade and organic those made up from petroleum products in the sweet shop. Not one of them is made or transported without a significant drain on our energy resources. Third one would be poor infra infrastructure. Aging infrastructure of power generating equipment is yet another reason for energy shortage. Most of the energy producing firms keep on using outdated equipment that restricts the production of energy. This is the responsibility of utilities to keep on upgrading the infrastructure and then set a high standard of performance. Basically, using old and outdated technology to, produce, to generate power is very inefficient and it causes and it is responsible for loss of power so moving on to the next topic unexplored renewable energy options renewable energy still remains unused in most of the countries most of the energy comes from non-renewable sources like coal it therefore remains a top choice to produce energy unless we give renewable energy a serious thought the problem of energy crisis cannot be solved Renewable energy sources can reduce our dependence on fossil fuels and also helps reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Delay in commissioning of power plants In a few countries, there is a significant delay in the commissioning, commissioning of new power plants that can fill the gap between demand and supply of energy. The result is that old plants come under huge stress to meet the daily demand for power. When supply doesn't match the demand, it results in load shedding and breakdown. So as you all know, when a country develops, it needs, uh, it has more and more demand for uh, power and energy sources. But <clears throat> uh, without the creation of, without the setup of new energy power, uh, power plants, there is always a shortage. There is always high demand for power, which in turn causes load shedding and breakdown. It puts too much stress on already existing power plants. The next one would be waste of energy. In most parts of the world, people do not realize the importance of conserving energy. It is only limited to books, the internet, newspaper ads, lip service and seminars. Unless we give it a serious thought, things are not going to change anytime sooner. Simple things like switching off fans and lights when not in use, using maximum daylight walking instead of driving for short distances, using CFL instead of traditional bulbs, proper insulation for leakage of energy can go a long way in saving energy. The next one would be major accident and natural calamities. Major accidents like pipeline bursts and natural calamities like eruption of volcanoes, floods, earthquakes can also cause interruptions to energy supplies. The huge gap between supply and demand for energy can raise the price of essential items which can give rise to inflation. So basically the natural disasters and natural calamities such as earthquakes, volcano eruptions, forest fires, all these things are putting a strain on our energy resources. Natural disasters can sometimes cause da severe damage to cities and uh, major power plants which in turn puts a strain on our energy sources. Wars and attacks. Wars between countries can also hamper the supply of energy, especially if it happens in Middle East countries like Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Iran, Kuwait, UAE or Qatar. That's what happened during 1990 Gulf War when the price of oil reached its peak, causing global shortages and created major problems for energy consumers. The next one would be miscellaneous factors. 
tax hikes, strikes, military coups, political events, severe hot summers or cold winters can cause a sudden increase in demand for energy and can choke supply. A strike by trade unions in an oil producing firm can cause an energy crisis. Effects of energy scarcity. Now we are going to look at what are the effects of energy scarcity, how it changes our surroundings. First one, environmental effects. Energy is produced by burning of non-renewable fossil fuels. This does not only affect the global resources of fossil fuels, but it also affects the environment. By burning fossil fuels, it releases greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and others, which in turn lead to global warming and many other it leads to global warming which is really really harmful for our planet increasing prices of fuel resources as the use of fossil fuels increases the cost of these resources increases too we must remember that the quantity in which these fossil fuels are available is limited as we keep on using these resources the amount of these fossil fuels further decreases Political disturbances. The fact that the energy crisis creates some socio-economic disturbances also tells us that this global energy crisis creates a lot of lots of political disturbances across the globe. The quest for fossil fuels is one of the major causes of the same. The effect on tourism industry. Tourism industry is largely dependent on the rise and fall of fuel prices. The tremendous rise of fuel prices that come as a result of Energy crisis affects the tourism industry pretty adversely. Now we're going to look at possible solutions for energy crisis. Move towards renewable energy sources. The best possible solution is to reduce the world's dependence on non-renewable energy sources and to improve overall conservation efforts. Much of the industrial age was created using fossil fuels, but there is also known technology that uses other types of renewable energy such as steam, solar and wind by energy efficient products. Replace the traditional bulbs with CFLs and LEDs. They use fewer watts of electricity and last longer. If millions of people across the globe use LEDs and CFLs for residential and commercial purposes, the demand for energy can go down and an energy crisis can be averted. Lighting controls. There are a number of new technologies out there that make lighting controls that much more interesting and they help to save a lot of energy and cash in, in the long run. Easier, get, easier grid access. People who use different options to generate power must be given permission to plug into the grid and getting credit for the power you feed into it. The hassles of getting credit for supplying surplus power back into the grid should be removed. Apart from that, subsidy on solar panels should be given to encourage more people to explore renewable options. Energy simulation. Energy simulation software can be used by big corporates and cor corporations to redesign the building unit and reduce running business energy costs. Engineers, architects and designers could use this design to come up with most energy efficient buildings and reduce carbon footprint. Perform energy audit. The energy audit is a process that helps you to identify the areas where your home or office is losing energy and what steps you can take to improve energy efficiency. Common standard on climate change. Both developed and developing countries should adopt a common standard on climate change. They should focus on reducing greenhouse gas emissions through an effective cross-border mechanism. That's that concludes this presentation. With this, signing off, yours truly, Surya.